More power issues for PSE&G nuclear. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Lower Alloways Creek, where the Salem 2 nuclear plant is out of commission again. Trouble with the main generator started June 28th when its protection system activated, triggering an automatic shutdown. Salem 2 was restarted July 3rd, kicked off July 4th, went online again July 11th, made it a whole seven hours, shut down, turned on last Thursday and produced energy for three whole days before a suspected electrical fault shut it down. Salem 2 is one of three reactors at PSE&G's Artificial Island Complex. Salem 1's been out of commission while they replaced damaged bolts in the reactor core. The third reactor, that one's working. Next to Branchburg and proof of nature's power, Monday's wicked storm spawned a microburst so strong it threw cars 100 feet and snapped seven utility poles as though they were matchsticks. The two-hour-long torrent dumped as much as two inches of rain across the state. Its 60-mile-an-hour wind gusts snapped trees and down power lines, which led to blocked roads, canceled flights, and a brutal commute. At its height, some 40,000 people were without power. Finally, Milburn and the power of the magical, delicate, intricate fairy houses have been cropping up nestled in tree hollows and tucked among the roots in the South Mountain Reservation. The furniture crafted from found objects, acorns, twigs, and moss, 20 of them, 30 Thumbelina-sized habitats curated by a mysterious sorcerer. No sooner had South Mountain Conservancy members started debating whether the borrowers were violating the take-nothing, leave-nothing spirit of the woods, than developers began erecting unsightly, garish plastic copies. But it was the painted lime green X's marking the trail that triggered an Elfin ordinance delineating fairy house rules. The curtain's been pulled back on the architect. She's 60-year-old special education teacher Therese Ojibwe, a member of the Ministry of Magic. And that's our Garden State Express for Tuesday, July 26th. Something up in your town? Tip us off.